What is up guys and welcome back to another video today. I'm gonna to be talking kinda of quiet because it's already 10.06 p.m. and I need to go to sleep in. I need to end edit this video. But today, welcome to back to another episode of The Road to Glory. We're gonna be talking about foot champions as well, my qualifying. Um, but yeah, today's uh, requirements were one nation for your starting 11. So I did create a French team as you did see in the beginning and then you saw the opponent's team. I'm just showing some highlights of how I played and how um, I did in the qualifying stages and the first round. Unfortunately, I was not able to qualify actually um, I did go out in the second round which is really disappointing um, but I'm gonna blame my excuse for going out in the second round is gonna be because of lag and it, it's not really an excuse it's valid and it's true in my opinion my opponent didn't deserve to win uh, but yeah really unfair game on me and I don't know I'm gonna try one more time tonight even though it's 10 7 and I actually have the PSAT tomorrow uh, which I probably like it's not that important because it's only practice of course uh, but yeah this is for champions let's not talk about freaking school and stuff uh, Musa does pull one back in the 82nd or 83rd minute I do get a bit scared uh, but yeah we do end up kind of winning right here um, as Komen does get man of the match and we did win 2-1 50% possession 88% pass accuracy and do, we do come up against an Italian team in the second round Eric Andreva and Insigne as the front through with Barzagli I don't know who that left center back is Consigli and Florenzi at the back with this this Chiglio at left back and then Eder does break through and scores and in the top left corner of course Ariel the nipple is not going to be able to reach that way too high for him uh, but yeah he did break through my defense because my players just felt so slow look Varane just tackled him and I don't know what he did he just played I don't know, Varane just kind of had some problems right there, right here too, look. So he does break through my defense, Ariel does make a great save, and I try to slide because I thought, I didn't think he was going to cut in so uh, so early. I thought he was going to keep running down the line. So if he kept running down the line, and then my defender slid like across towards the line, I thought he was going to block the ball and not his leg because I try to predict it. So I mean, it's kind of my fault, not at the, sa at the same time it's not, but right here, this, I don't, I don't know how that makes sense sense because okay he chipped it towards the middle um i i step to the left which is what i always do i step to the left and then i dive right uh with my keeper uh and that usually saves it but he went straight through the ball i don't know what happened we did bring on kyle walker tiago and renato sanchez in um during halftime as some super subs to take off ben yetter we do talk take off uh Kabai, yeah, uh, well, I forgot what his name is, but his first his first name is, but yeah, Johan Kabai, there we go. We did take off Johan Kabai, and we do go down again 2-0 in the second half. Not again, but we are still down 2-0. Ever Benega does get an injury for him as he does get a corner, and Ariel does put it into his safe hands. You guys are going to see some gameplay right here. He completely is dominating me and reading every single pass I'm going to make. So I try to do some skills with Niang, not skills, but try and like keep the ball away from him with Niang and shield it but it doesn't work of course um but yeah this guy was just completely reading me and he was doing everything i wanted to do he knew what i wanted to do and i couldn't get the ball moving and then i couldn't create chances and it was really really frustrating uh but yeah ariel does make a fantastic save right there as he does put it out to ben arfa i believe that was and then kyle walker does give it up to i don't know who that is because i can't read the name ben arfa back to that guy um but yeah, this guy was just completely reading what I wanted to do. So Kingsley Coleman does have not does not have anywhere to go right here. Does get the ball back. Is fortunate to get the ball back. And Zanti just played out wide. I try to pass it to the guy at the edge of the box, and I can't get that because he just reads everything I want to do. As the defender does tackle it and sends it into the sky. Uh, but yeah, he was reading every single thing I wanted to do, every single pass I wanted to do. He read it, everything I wanted to do, he knew what I wanted to do. And it was really frustrating for me, especially because I wanted to uh, qualify right away. So I won't have to bother uh, with the other two qualification or four uh, qualification opportunities. So tomorrow is a new day, of course. I have another chance to qualify, so I will try and do that. No requirements this time, so I could use my uh, foot champion squad from last week, and the rewards do come out tomorrow, which is going to be on Wednesday, meaning you guys will see this on Thursday. You guys are going to be seeing this video on Wednesday, uh, meaning you guys will see the rewards and a pack opening for the new team of the week. Probably two different videos, uh, but yeah, those are my player stats. As you guys see, I did lose 2-0. Do go out in the second round which is really disappointing so yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy it please leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will see you guys in the next video have a fantastic day and i'm out